Hi, and welcome to another tutorial of Korg PA Manager. Today, we will learn how to make a new set by combining and mixing sets together. Combining sets can be done very quickly and easily. We can either start with an empty blank new set by clicking on the new set button, or we can start and load an existing set and build on top of that. Let's begin by clicking on the set manager and loading our set. Our main set has loaded. Now we will need to load the other set by clicking on the Import Merge button. We select and load the set. Both sets are now loaded. The left side is our main set. The right side is the set we will be copying items from. Banks with red lines underneath mean they're empty. So we begin with selecting an empty bank. Assuming you have a list of preferred styles you wish to copy, find the style, right click to copy it, come over to the left, right click and paste. That's all. Simple, right? We can also drag and drop items. Or we can select multiple items by holding the control button. Korg PA Manager automatically takes all necessary sounds and samples as required. Once you have copied all the styles that you require, it's time to move on. The same can be done with keyboard sets. Copy paste or drag and drop the performances you like. And that's all. The same can also be done with pads. Copy paste or drag and drop and that's all. Once we've copied everything from this set, it's time to load our third set and continue mixing. We select and load the set. Once again, we begin by copy and pasting the styles we wish to mix onto our sets. It's as simple as that. Once all of your chosen styles have been copied, we can move on to the keyboard set section and continue taking performances. And again, once those are done, move on to the pad section. We just mixed three sets into one, but you can continue loading new sets and copy pasting items from it. Once we've completed our set, it's time to save it. Always create a new set with a unique name and never overwrite over your existing sets. Once the set is saved, you will need to copy it onto a USB pen drive and then load that onto your keyboard. And you're ready to play.